Have you ever wondered why time seems to speed up as you get older? This is a question that has intrigued philosophers, scientists, and the average person alike. The phenomenon, often called time's quickening, has its roots in a theory proposed by French philosopher Paul Janet in the 19th century. According to Janet, as we age, each subsequent moment of time represents a smaller fraction of our entire life. To illustrate, for a two-year-old, a year is half of their life, a significant portion. But for a 50-year-old, a year is just 2% of their life. This diminishing fraction, Janet argued, makes time appear to accelerate as we age. This theory might sound abstract, but it is supported by empirical evidence. A study published in the journal Psychology and Aging found that people tend to perceive time as speeding up with age. From waiting for Christmas as a child, which seemed an eternity, to the blink and you miss it pace of adulthood, it's a sentiment many of us can relate to. But why does this happen? Some researchers suggest it's because our brains process information differently as we grow older. When we're young, we're constantly learning and absorbing new experiences. Each new experience requires our brains to process a large amount of information, which slows down our perception of time. Did you know your brain holds more information than the entire internet? Now, isn't that a fascinating thought? It's no hyperbole. In fact, neuroscientists estimate that the human brain has the capacity to store around 2.5 petabytes, or a million gigabytes of data. That's akin to nearly 3 million hours of television shows. You could leave your TV running for around 340 years, and you'd just about use up that storage. Now, how does this compare to the estimated storage capacity of the internet, you might wonder? Well, recent studies suggest that the internet, in its entirety, holds approximately 1.2 million terabytes of information. That's just over 1,000 petabytes. So, in essence, our brains could theoretically hold more than double the entire content of the World Wide Web. This incredible storage capacity doesn't mean we're walking around with encyclopedic knowledge, though. Much of this vast storage potential is used to manage the extraordinary complexity of the human body. It's busy coordinating everything from our heartbeats to our eye movements, not to mention our thoughts, emotions and memories. Throughout our lifetime, our brains are constantly recording, processing and storing information. Every experience, every conversation, every dream, every thought, every sensation, every emotion, it's all there. Stored away in the intricate network of neurons that make up the brain. So, if you've ever felt like you're running out of memory space, think again. Your brain is a powerhouse of storage, capable of holding an amount of information that's almost unfathomable. It's working tirelessly, capturing and cataloguing your life's experiences moment by moment. It's an organic supercomputer far more complex and powerful than any machine we've ever built. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information in the world, remember this. Your brain, this three pound organ sitting inside your skull, is an extraordinary piece of work. It's a marvel of nature, a testament to the power of evolution. And it's all yours. Perhaps we're not giving our brains the credit they truly deserve. What do you think an octopus does when it gets bored? Now there's a question you don't hear every day. But the life of an octopus is far from ordinary, and their unusual habits are a testament to that. Far from being simple sea creatures, octopuses are surprisingly intelligent. They're known to use tools, a trait that only a handful of animals possess. Take, for instance, the veined octopus, which has been observed using coconut shells as makeshift shelters. Or consider the captive octopuses that have been seen squirting water at light switches to turn them off, a clear demonstration of problem-solving skills. But the intelligence of an octopus doesn't stop there. These creatures are known escape artists, capable of squeezing themselves out of their enclosures and traversing land for short periods. Some octopuses have even been known to break out of their aquariums in search of food, only to return before their absence is noticed. Yet for all their intelligence, octopuses can fall prey to boredom. Researchers have found that without enough stimulation, octopuses may resort to self-destructive behavior. This can include eating their own arms, a phenomenon known as autophagy. It's a drastic measure, but it's thought to be a response to high levels of stress or insufficient mental stimulation. So what can we do to keep these intelligent creatures entertained? Some researchers have experimented with giving octopuses toys or complex puzzles to solve. These efforts have been met with success, 
often resulting in happier, healthier octopuses. The world of an octopus is full of surprises and unusual habits. From their tool-using abilities to their potential for boredom-induced self-harm, these creatures are a fascinating study in animal behavior. They challenge our understanding of intelligence and remind us that there's always more to learn about the natural world. So, next time you're bored, be grateful you're not an octopus. Their world is a complex and challenging one. A stark reminder that even the most intelligent creatures can succumb to the pitfalls of boredom and stress. After all, an octopus's life isn't all fun and games. It's a constant battle for survival, both against predators and against their own minds. Can you imagine how much energy the sun produces every second? Just to paint a picture, the sun generates more energy in a single second than humanity has ever used since the dawn of civilization. It's an astronomical amount that's beyond our comprehension. This colossal energy production is down to nuclear fusion, a process that takes place in the sun's core. Here, temperatures reach a staggering 15 million degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to overcome the natural repulsion between atomic particles. Under these extreme conditions, hydrogen atoms merge to create helium, and in the process, they release an immense amount of energy. Picture this. Four individual hydrogen atoms come together in a high-energy dance, creating one helium atom. But the intriguing part is, the helium atom weighs slightly less than the total mass of the four hydrogen atoms that created it. So, where does this missing mass go? It doesn't disappear, but is instead converted into energy, following the famous equation by Albert Einstein, EMC2. This equation tells us that mass and energy are interchangeable, and even a small amount of mass can be converted into a huge amount of energy. That's what's happening inside the sun every second. Every time a helium atom is created, a little bit of mass is converted into energy. And with countless such reactions taking place every second, the sun releases a stupendous amount of energy, lighting up our skies and warming our planet. But the sun's power doesn't stop at just lighting and heating. It's also responsible for driving weather patterns, supporting life through photosynthesis, and even causing beautiful natural phenomena like the northern lights. And it's not just about what the sun does for us. The sun's energy production is a shining example of a renewable energy source. We've been harnessing solar power for centuries, using it to heat water, light our homes, and in recent years, even power our cars. So, while we're searching for renewable energy sources, the sun has been showing us the way all along. Could you be in two places at once? Imagine, if you will, a world that defies all our intuitive understandings of reality, where the impossibility becomes the norm. Welcome to the fascinating world of quantum physics. Here we encounter a concept that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie, quantum superposition. This principle tells us that a particle doesn't exist in one state or another, but in all of its possible states at once. It's only when we observe it that the particle is forced to choose one probability, and that's the state we see. In essence, a particle can be in two places at once until it is observed. To illustrate this, let's visit an intriguing thought experiment proposed by physicist Erwin Schrödinger. It's known as Schrödinger's cat. Imagine a cat in a sealed box with a tiny bit of radioactive substance. If even a single atom of the substance decays, it will trigger a mechanism that kills the cat. According to quantum theory, until we open the box to check, the cat is both dead and alive. Does this make your head spin? Well, quantum physics often does. But it's not just theoretical musings. The principles of quantum physics are at play in our everyday life. They're the basis for technologies like lasers and semiconductors the heart of our computers and smartphones. So, next time you send a text or stream a video, remember, it's all thanks to a world where particles can be in two places at once, and cats can be both dead and alive until someone decides to take a peek. Quantum physics might seem like science fiction, but it's real and happening right now. It's a fascinating world that challenges our understanding of reality, promising to open up new frontiers of knowledge. So. Let's keep exploring this mind-bending domain of science together.